um, banking and bank accounts, I set up immediately a business bank account. A couple of things about that. One, again, it's completely separate, and so all my business transactions go through there so I know what they're all about. You'd be amazed at how much you forget over the course of a year, and especially after a period goes by before you file your taxes. Um, two, you actually get some benefits from small business banking accounts. Banks out there cater to small businesses, and they find things that are useful to you and even offer you things that you couldn't get. Uh, so give me an ex example of something that completely surprised me um, by having a, a small business LLC and bank account is I moved to a place where the broadband capabilities were not good. And it turned out that in the end, getting wired broadband to my house was going to be prohibitively expensive. I, I'm literally, I'm talking more than a mortgage to get internet. It was unbelievable. But I ended up through one of the, uh, one of the cellular carriers getting a hold of their small business group, which is fairly small. But because I had an employee identification number and because I had a small business banking account, I qualified and I was able to get um, cellular-based internet service, which works great, which wasn't available in the area for another six months for consumers because they started with their small business customers first because it was controllable and manageable. I solved my internet dilemma at a fraction of what it would have cost just because I'm a legitimate business who is in a room in his home right here, but I operate a legitimate business with a business license and a bank account and all the other things that go with it. It just makes it easier.